Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mix and Match Gamer. Um, just coming at you here with a quick tutorial on something a little different than gaming, but it is something cool and helpful that you might like. Um, so basically, what I'm going to be showing you guys well, uh, how to do today is how to create animated images, otherwise known as GIFs or GIFs. I really don't care what the pronunciation is. You can debate that in the comments if you want. I'm basically going to show you how to create those using basic video files in Adobe Photoshop CC or CS6. It might work in CS5, probably not. CS6 and up should do the trick. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up Photoshop. Um, once it's open, you're going to go to Import, so File Import, and then Video Frames to Layers. Now, once this dialog box opens up, you're going to locate your video that you want to create so I put mine I put a test one on the desktop um, it's right here uh, yes this is me um, so basically what you're going to do is this is going to show up once you do that um, uh, these little little dudes right here if you drag this this basically shows when the uh, video will start and when it will import so for this video since it shows short I'm just gonna keep it from beginning to end um, you can also do this. This is a cool little trick. If you just want to do every two frames, um, then it'll make it a bit quicker and less frames. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to turn that off though, just because the video is so short. But if you have a longer video, it might be smart to click that. And then make sure make frame animation is checked. So once you got that, push OK. And then it should load up right here. Uh, so you might be asking yourself, well, what do I do now? Um, if you don't, have it already open which you probably shouldn't go up to window and go to timeline open up timeline so here we have basically we have this video so if you click on the first one and you push spacebar uh, actually I think yeah or you just push the play button uh, basically it'll play your your little video here um, it's it's they're all in their separate layers uh, but I'm gonna keep the layers panel hidden just to Safe space. So now, pretty much, you're already done. If you want to export it now, uh, you can. But for the sake of showing everyone what to do, I shall. So as you can see, the video itself, it's a little slow. Uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not too fast. So it'll automatically repeat. Also, so what you're gonna do if you want to make it faster, uh, you select all of your, all of your little frames down here. And you click this little arrow. Um, and I some I usually push uh, other. So the f the smaller the number, the faster that the um, the video will go. So if you want it to be super slow, you put like five seconds. So each frame would play five seconds until it got to the next frame. That's ridiculously fast. So for this, I'm just gonna put no delay. So this is the actual speed of the video. Also, you can just click zero point seconds, no delay, or choose the one from the already preset. Um, already the ones that are already presetted. So now, as you can see, it's a little faster. It's a little too slow still. Um, and here's a trick that I came up with. Um, it's a little time consuming, especially if your video is really long. Um, but basically, I start with the first one. I hold control, and then I click every other frame um, until I get to the end. And this is especially a really sweet trick if your video is um, kind of short. But I remember I had a really long video that I wanted to make into a GIF uh, or GIF or whatever you want to call it. And it took forever, um, but I eventually got it done and it worked out great. So once you have this selected, uh, you can choose which ones you want to select. You just push, a little, push this little trash can down here and delete the frames. And now, as you can see, the video is much faster and I like it like that. So... I think it's pretty much perfect. Play around with it to what you desire. Um, delete more frames. That's the fastest way for me. That's the way I know how to do it. Um, it doesn't take too long anyway. Um, but yeah, that's how I know how to do it. And so once you are satisfied with what you have, go ahead and head up to File, uh, Save for Web, or Alt Shift Control S, and this little box will open up. It's not going to play or anything, but just I assure you that it, it works. As long as you, for the preset, keep this unnamed. Uh, push GIF. Make sure that's selected. Keep Selective and diffu Diffusion on. Now, as you can see, 
it is 1.4 megabytes right now that's a that's really small honestly but if I were to bounce the or bump the colors all the way up to 256 the file size would get a little bit bigger so it's not too much bigger but it also makes the image clearer but for getting that that GIF feel I'm gonna put it down to 64 uh, and the lower the amount of colors the less quality you'll have and the smaller the file will be as you can see it's only 600 and 600 about 600k uh, or kilobytes um, so I'm just gonna keep mine at 64 keep this at 100% and pretty much keep everything at all these settings also um, also another thing you can do is you can change the image size in here or out here if you want to change the size of your image uh, just click this little tool right here which is the cropping tool and crop the image to your uh, desired selection and it will crop the image for all your frames so don't worry that you don't that you have to crop them all for every frame you don't have to do that um, but if you're satisfied with what you have just go ahead and push save um, and give it a title um, like me GIF or something I actually don't title it GIF because it might confuse I don't know me that's it um, I keep it on images only I don't think it'll matter but I'm gonna just keep it on images settings default and save um, and that is honestly that's about it um, so if we head to our desktop I did this one before just to test it out to make sure it worked but if you want to test to see if it works the way that I find to do it is I just open it up in QuickTime or Media Center um, and push play and that was really fast so this one didn't work out as much as I wanted but the one I made before works a little bit better as you can see I think I made it a little too quick with that delay um, but no worries uh, you can make everything uh, lag you can change anything to the way that you want it so well it's not playing but I assure you as you can see from this little bar it is very slow and it works out perfectly so just play around with it um, hello Paul, Rod Paul Rodriguez how are you little dude um, just play around with it make it what you want and Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a like, comment, tell me if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be around. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.